Shalom Israel, this is Sister Kana, and I wanted to do an introduction to this video because I kind of put together some random videos, and so I wanted to kind of like talk you through it a little bit so you don't get an idea why I'm making this video. This video is basically, um, you know, um, a collage of different videos basically talking about cooking, and I was also shopping looking for things to buy. And just to point out some things um, for people so they can get an idea. Because what I found was, when I, as I've been traveling around in the Middle East, like when I was in Egypt, like they, they did not really cook out or camp out. And it was real foreign. You know, like you didn't, I didn't know, there was no place to really go by and see some of the things that I've, I've seen here. And uh, that's also in Israel. They do more cooking out, but just kind of like how we do in America with... Um, you know a barbecue pit kind of thing and you make a fire but then as I went to other countries I found that cooking out was and even actually living and camping out in the desert was like everyday life so and that's you know what probably why I make so many videos like this where it probably seemed real foreign to people but it in some parts of the country it's like everyday life like they you know that's what they do on the weekends they'll go and they'll um, cook out they make fires and it's everyday even at night they do it it's like everyday life and it's amazing to me because it seems that the most high they they kept this standard of living and it won't seem so out of place when we are actually in the wilderness so I'm, I'm sure it seems to um, to most that seeing these kind of videos is like whoa because it's really unheard of in you know a lot of countries but in some countries it's like every day this is what they do the stores are filled with stuff so that you can camp out and so I, th I think I needed to say this so that people can kind of get an idea um, that it's not so far-fetched and you know some people actually still like really live in the desert you know and they have they they have stores in the desert and do a lot of cooking out in the desert and even have a, a home in the um, city or the apartment areas as well and they'll go back and forth out in, in the desert and it was kind of like weird to me at first but you know since I've been traveling and going to different places I know now that it's like every day to most people so okay enough said uh, I'll um, just put the video on for you so that you can see okay and I say all glory and praise to a higher Bahashimi Shire and I uh, hope you enjoy it and hope you can get something from it. And I say um, peace and blessings to you and shalom. Okay, I'm at another store and these are some of the ovens. Ovens that you can use when you're out in the desert. Here's a big stove. I mean, these things are awesome. And uh, there's no electricity. I don't know how they work, but they, you use, I'll show you the gas cooker that I showed you in the other video, I'll show you. You just hook them up, and you can have an oven outside in the desert. Amazing, isn't it? But they are so prepared, like you, these are one of the stoves I showed you in one of the other videos. You can have that, and you hook it up with the gas. The gas, I'll show you the gas in a minute. But these are the stoves, it's like an oven, you can have an oven. And this is like all the stuff, the big pots you can cook in, stoves, it's basically everything you need. You just kind of got to know where to go and get it, but it's not really hard to figure it out. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea of some of the stuff that you can uh, purchase and buy and have in the wilderness. It, it, life doesn't have to be totally inconvenient and um, these are some of the places now this is the gas here is the gas cylinders that you buy and you can hook it up to the stove and then you'll have a working oven no problem okay and they have all kind of different uh, things I've kind of already purchased but I mean, you can't, you know, never have enough of these. So these are awesome. And these are also uh, like the gas 
those that you could put your food, you know, the pots on, and they work with the cylinders. They work with these. So you put them together and you can have a stove. Awesome. How much are these? Uh, uh, 40. 43? Yes. Okay, so these are 43. So it's about $50. In, in dollars, it's about $50. Okay? So, hello. So these things, and here's a huge pot, a huge cooking pot that you can purchase it. There's a lot of people. And then here again, there's another big stove. And these are the cylinders they work with, so you can have a fire. And also these gas things. These, these are stoves, see? You turn it upside uh, around and you put the pot on it. And you just hook it up to the cylinder and you have a fire outside. And they have so much stuff. Look at this huge thing. Nice. Thank you, Shabbat. So, I'm just walking and looking at all the stuff that I need to do. Another big, big pot. Huge. It's huge. And these are different size pots. And then, of course, the cylinder. They sell them everywhere. If you go to certain locations, you can find them everywhere. Here's another person that kind of sells the outdoor tent. But I'm going to go because I'm specifically looking for the tabernacle. And um, I, I printed out a picture for one of the guys. So we'll see. Hold on. Over here we have like a built-in barbecue pit. And what it is is that you dig a hole and you put one of those steel drums inside. And uh, you can have one of these things made. Uh, these, I show you. These things, it's kind of heavy. And what you do is you put your pot inside here and the fire outside. And then you kind of just um, put your food down, put the fire going. And then you use this as a cover. And you kind of cover it. Okay, I just wanted to show you that we kind of got like a, um, a built-in stove. You can make a stove out in the desert where you can cook. Right now we're boiling some rice on top. But this thing here actually is hot probably. It, you can pick it up and it goes down in the hole. And you put um, your chicken and your lamb on top and you cover it with, with this um, top. And it's just like having an oven. So you actually can bake food and grill food and even make bread and all kind of things on the stuff. So the rice is moving. So we're making rice and carrots right now. So I just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of, you know, camping out and cooking out different ways that you can have different meals. You can put uh, chicken and lamb and beef actually on the bottom of this and you put it down in the hole and I'll show you when we get to that point. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, hi. So now we have the chicken um, put on top of the rice which is boiling and we're going to cover it and then the chicken is going to come out really cooked and everything. So now you're going to cover it like that. You cover it really good. And it's, it's like an oven, so you can get the uh, luxury of having baked food even while you're outside camping. Isn't that great? And they actually call this Zarif. Zarif. Or Zarub with a B. Something out. And I wanted to show that you can actually cook outside. They have these things, a cylinder which holds the gas, and you could just buy a hot plate, and it's like everyone used them even in their homes. So like you can have like a camp or like a shelter, and you can have these stoves and where you can cook, um, you can cook, you know, your meal, a regular meal. So I'm making some 
um, cabbage and carrots, which is going to be for spring rolls. And I'm going to make... Okay, this is the lamb. So now we put it in the tray. And let me show you how it's done. You just... Um, um, thing here, you lay the lamb inside, and then you close it like this. So you have a thing, and you, you, when you put it on the fire, you turn it around and barbecue. Okay. You want to show me how? Okay. Now you put it on here. Yep. So now we got the lamb started on the fire. It's going to be roasted lamb. Okay. 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 Be right back.